All right, this is my Samsung Captivate. Um, as you can see, uh, it's a little blurry, but at least you can see the uh, speeds up here on top. Uh, mine came out at 2,489, um, which is pretty damn fast. I uh, I have it running on stock. All I've done is the lag fix, and I've done a couple other little quick fixes. Um, let's see. Uh, this program right here, SGS Tools, uh, pretty powerful. Um, I use it for my GPS, a couple other quick fixes. I've used it for the uh, five button launcher that I have here. It lets you customize a lot of things, but also on a stock firmware, lets you tilt it. Keeps all the functionality, doesn't uh, avoid warranty, anything like that. Um, it's pretty nice, and you can actually slide and move these around if you'd like. So I find that pretty nice. Um, another really good one that I use to actually uh, get that speed. Let me see if I have it here. Well, of course, the uh, one-click lag fix. That's a nice one. Um, yeah, not fighting it here. Overclock, there we are. Now I'm running a uh, 1.3 gigahertz. When you restart, it's going to uh, turn it back down to the 1 gigahertz. But you just want to load your module. And it tells you, yeah, yeah, do you really want to apply? It could be dangerous, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so it's normally set at 1. I find sometimes you get more speeds playing games if you do 1.2, but uh, I'm not a feared none. I got to upgrade next week, so I do 1.3. Overclock's granted. Okay, good, good. And uh, I find it runs pretty fast doing it that way. And I really haven't changed anything else. You know, I've done, like I said, a couple little things in here. Uh, see, upgrade stock apps. I've done the. Uh, the email app from Galaxy Tab, which is actually pretty nice. It looks a lot better than the uh, the stock one that comes with it. And I'll give you a little demo here. Here's the email. It looks like normal. But as you can see, it's got the Gmail logo on top. Email is a little bit faster. And if I want to open one up, it gives you kind of a side view, which is pretty nice. You know, it would definitely look better on a tablet, so you could read the whole email if I having to scroll over. But, eh, gets the job done. Anyway, I just wanted to see, uh, you know, if anybody else leaves some comments. I have yet to see anybody with the Captivate get, uh, get the same speeds that I have on here. And not... I'm not really challenging anybody, but I'm just curious to see if anybody else can get the same speeds that I did. I'll run through one more quick one here for you. Email is probably still loaded in the uh, RAM, I'm guessing. Yeah, it's definitely not as fast as it was before. Um, I think it's probably because I have a couple programs still accessing the RAM. But we'll see what it comes out at. Looks like it's 2,436. So it is a little... Uh, let's see if I can focus in on that. I'm recording this with an ARIA, so... Uh, yeah, 2,436. Definitely not as fast as it was before. But it's still pretty rocking, uh, especially seeing as how the Galaxy S should be down here in the uh, like 700, 800, you know, something like that. So it's uh, it's pretty nice. You know, you guys leave some comments. Let me see what you think. Uh, so I captivate, and uh, should be doing the Atrix uh, 
Atrix testing here in the future. So I uh, hope to hear back from you guys and see some of your quadrant, um, some of your quadrant benchmarks. Thank you very much.